I am the Twizzler man, I do whatever I can. Twizzler, Twizzler. Where's Finn? Where's I have a twin? Finn? Finn! Finn! Finny Finn Finn! Finn Finn! Finn! <laughs> okay, yep, that happened. Hello. What? What are you. Hello. What are you doing up there? What are you doing down there? How did you. <laughs> what? Yeah! Good um, morning. My name is Finn. My name. name is Jack. Ha! <laughs> Seriously, too, too much, too much sugar this morning. That's what I've had. You know sugar? Do you have sugar with too your much cereal? of it? I had porridge, <laughs> mawams, more porridge, more mawams, and then sugar on top. That's that sounds healthy. It all went to my brain. <laughs> So, a few weekends ago, Comic Relief, which is a charity here in the UK, sent us a cheeky little email inviting us to fly out to South Africa. The plan was to go out and check out some of the awesome projects that they were doing in celebration of their 25th anniversary. So, we put together a little film, and this was our journey. Roll the clip! So, we've got about half an hour to our cab arrives, and Jack is frantically packing, trying to get ready. How's it going, buddy? This is really funny, I'm not going to change. That's my phone bag. It's quite empty though. There's nothing in it. I haven't started packing. We're leaving now. Jack, what are you taking to Africa with you? Sophie. Well, I literally managed to grab all my stuff together. Getting a cab to Heathrow Airport. Well, you excited? I'm excited. The journey begins. On the trip was myself, Finn, our good friend and filmmaker Will, and two lovely members of the comic relief team, Jess and Tara. We were flying out to visit the Waterberg Welfare Society, which aimed to prevent and raise awareness of HIV and AIDS. We're in Africa! Yeah! On the drive, we were told more about how serious HIV and AIDS were and how it affected communities and townships similar to the one we're going to visit. We were told 5.6 million people live with HIV in Africa. Half a million of those are under the age of 15, and 9 million children have lost one or both parents due to AIDS-related illnesses. We were shocked to hear how serious the issue had become, but excited to see what was being done to help and meet the people behind the projects. Say hi! <laughs> After a warm welcome, we walked around the centre and learnt more about the incredible work WWS were doing to help prevent the spread of HIV and AIDS. We also had a chance to speak to one of the project managers about the previous problems they had faced. My name is Julia Letzebe. I'm a person living with HIV, working for the Waterbeck Welfare Society. What happened is that when I first got sick, I didn't accept at first because the doctor that examined me said I had TB and I thought I was bewitched and all my family believed that as well. Traditional healers are the equivalent to doctors in Valwater, however their alternative approach meant that the correct information wasn't always given. Through a process of throwing bones, they tell you your future, which is often negative, and in our case, they even laughed at our misfortune. You want them to protect you. It was a fairly unsettling experience in which they then tried to sell us medicine, otherwise known as Mooty, as a way of making money. The WWS are now working with healers on a monthly basis to provide accurate information that they can share with the community. Alongside this, they run a multitude of initiatives such as a local radio, a portable ambulance, a group for young men known as Boys to Men, and an initiative for women known as Stepping Forward. We went to visit one known as the Gig Rig, which was a concert held in town to raise awareness of HIV. It was incredible to see this community embracing the situation so positively and doing everything in their power to help. We 
spent the last day back at the centre sharing dance moves and videos and they even attempted to teach us the African gumboot dance. They also taught us some of the local language. For some reason, they found it rather amusing. I would like to thank Comic Relief and all the funders for funding this organization because that didn't go to waste. Many lives have been saved. So many children have been born negative. People who are staying far have access to medication, to HIV AIDS information. So it has changed life. So I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be alive and to see that happening. And even also to see my personal life changing. Thank you so much. We would also like to extend a huge thanks to Comic Relief and the WWS Centre for giving us an incredible experience and just generally letting us be a part of the project. If you want to find out any more information, there's a bunch of links in the description box below. Thank you for giving this film your full attention. Uh, we encourage you to share it on any social media platform. And thank you for just generally being awesome people. We're going to leave you with a bunch of photos that we took while we were there. Just give it up, 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 just give it up,